Hey there, so I got a request asking me how did I make my bio page for my anime list. So I figured I might as well just show it to you because it's too hard to, it's too complicated to explain in words and it's much easier to just show it if, if I just did it. So the first thing you need to do is open up GIMP. This is basically Photoshop, but it's free. It's really nice. Uh, I like it a lot. It has very similar functions to Photoshop, so if you already have Photoshop, then that's probably going to be fine. I just don't know the functions and ins and out of it. Also, you'll notice that I'm doing this on a Mac. Uh, you can also do this on Windows too. It doesn't really matter. In fact, I'd probably do it on a Windows if I could. But you know, what what can you do? Anyways, so the first thing you'll need to do is open up GIMP and then create a new image or like new background. So the first thing you'll need to do is uh, find a width and a height. My anime list has a bio width of 798 pixels, and the height you can make get as long as you possibly want but I don't think you'll need any more than like three to four hundred the next thing you'll need to do is uh, make a color for your background you can alter you can also go online and look for renders of back of anime backgrounds or whatever backgrounds you want make sure they are renders and you'll know that they're rendered when the background is like a checkerboard pattern and this is important because it'll keep the transparency on the image because without transparency you'll just get a white box in your image and then it looks all weird so anyways, first, uh, I'm just going to make this background like this feather blue color. This is the HTML code so that you don't have to mess with this color wheel and it gets annoying. Next, so first things first, you're going to want to actually export this. And you want to save it as just say like Mal background or something. And make sure you save it as a PNG or export it as a PNG. And just keep it off to the side. So where'd it go? Uh oh Did I not export to my desktop? I did not export to my desktop. Give me a second. We're going to export this to the desktop so it's easier to access later. Okay. So here it is. It's over here now. Go ahead and keep that there. You're going to want to close this out now. So then the next thing you want to do is if you want to make like little headers or something, then you can go ahead and make a new file. Make sure it's 798, but make the pixel maybe like 30 something. And if you like this color, that's cool too. So you can go ahead and just export this as well and just make it like background header or something make sure you export this as a PNG as well and this will stay over there okay now if, to combine them together you simply just drag the image in here and then drag this oops drag this image in here and now you'll see that it's lined up perfectly and then you'll want to use this tool here the alignment tool and let's you want to scoot it to the top so you're gonna click this button it's gonna now be at the top then you're gonna want if you want two headers or like a, like a little background thingy you can drag it down here as well <clears throat> and then you can push to the bottom and push this one up so like this and then let's say and then you'll want to export this one again make sure you keep exporting it, it's really useful um, we'll have to export it as now background 2 because you'll want to, you want to keep one by itself like this and you want to make your new one that, that way in case you want to make something new it's not a pain in the butt and then the next one, let's say you want to make the welcome to my profile area. So then you want to go ahead and create new again. 798, this time let's make it like 200 or maybe like 150 perhaps. And let's use a different color this time. Uh, this one's a good color. This is a forest green. Again, HTML code is there. So you can probably Google these colors online. All right. Oops. Yep and fill it in so you maybe something like this and let's say you want to make it give like a fade effect to it so what you're going to want to do first is you want to pick rounded rectangle what this does is it curves the edges and you want to put like a radius of like 15 <clears throat> nothing too big then you want to click go to your layers here and then you're going to add the alpha you're going to click add alpha channel what this does is it gives a little transparency effect to the to the back of this that way when i shrink this i'm going to shrink this I'm going to shrink this to about 5 pixels, so as you can see it gets a tad bit smaller. Then I'm going to do a feather, and the more feather you put on it, the more fade it's going to get. Uh, 5 is a good amount. Then you want to do select, invert, edit, and then clear. And you'll notice like this little uh, checkerboard pattern kind of around it, and that's, you'll, that's when you'll know you're, you're golden. And let's say we want to add some text to this. So let's say we want to add, how about, uh, let's see. Let's make, let's pick a font. Usually I go with something a little, not professional looking, just more like inviting or something. So you can go with something nice. I like, um, oops, where is it? 
There it is. I like a uh, ATSC light. And let's just make this rather big. 40 is a good size. And make sure that this is colored white. That way you can actually see it. And let's just say, how about welcome to my profile? And put a little exclamation mark. And then obviously you'll want to center this. So go ahead and again, click the alignment tool. Center this. Center, center. So now it looks good. And actually, here's what I'm going to do. Delete this first. We're going to first export this and we're going to name it like text box. This way you can edit this later when it comes time. Ex ed edit there. And now we can go ahead and type this in. Welcome to my profile. Uh, oops. There we go. And then now we can align this. So now we can go boom, boom. So now it's all aligned. So now what you want to do is go ahead and export this as text box and you can just put something easy to remember like welcome something that you can remember it's easy to access so now it's there the next thing you want to do next is drag this mal bg2 in here and then you want to drag the text box in here and now it's all centered now let's say you don't like the whole like like see how it's kind of big and it's clunky it's uh, kind of big you can actually scale this down a little bit by right clicking over this layer and clicking scale layer and let's say we want to scale it down to not 798 and let's just say we want to scale it down to like 500 so as you can see now it's a bit smaller and you can scale it uh, let's say we want to add a character in here so here's what I'm going to do I'm just keep this over here let's say we want to add Inori. Inori is a nice character. Now notice how she's huge. So what you're gonna want to do again, scale layer, scale it, scale her down to like I don't know, a hundred. That way she's not gigantic. And now actually now she's too tiny. Uh, let me go back. Control Z. That's too big. Scale layer. Uh, let's let's do three hundred. That's a bit better. There you go. So now you can just scoot her however you want. And let's say you want to just put her like right there or something. Okay. <clears throat> And now you have both something, a nice character or something, and actually if you want to make it look kind of nice, you can make her like little leotard thing flow into there. Yeah. Okay, cool. <clears throat> so that's how you can do, and then you can just repeat this process in um, layering new images on top of each other so that you can create a cohesive image. That's one way to do it. And then to finalize, let's go ahead and round rectangle the entire thing so now what's gonna happen is just make it 15 okay so alpha channel is already added so you don't have to do anything invert edit clear and then we can export this as now welcome banner or something and you'll notice you make a lot of new images but and then now if you look at it it's all one cohesive image and it does and yeah, I know. Oh well. And you just have to find more images on the web and whatnot. And you can do this with anything. And you'll notice how you have like the little curved edges and stuff. And then you can upload this to something called imgbb.co.com. So if I go there real quickly, imgbb.com, <clears throat> you can upload this. You have to find it. So now welcomebanner.png, upload it copy and then over here you can paste it into your code so if you scroll down all the way to the bottom and you paste it for example like down here you'll notice that it is there now and if you submit it and then you click on it you scroll all the way down to the bottom it will be there so that's how you can do that now let's say you want to make something like clickable buttons for your viewers to come in and then that way they can do stuff. Uh, let's say you want to uh, make buttons so that they can access things in like a GUI kind of thing. So first you're going to want to find a background. You can also make your background that we have already had, but let's say uh, we want to make, all right, convert this, doesn't really matter. <clears throat> Hmm. Uh oh oh okay it's loading so let's say you want to make like a background or something so that you can make clickable buttons or something 
um, the first thing you can do is first you need to get a background, whatever you want. So we're going to use this one from Charlotte. And then what I like to use is something called the button factory. It's actually really nice and you can make nice and easy buttons really quickly. So let's just say I want to make anime lists. You can download it, move it to your desktop, and it will be there. And then you can drag and drop. Oops. There we go. Give it a sec. There it is. So you can drag and drop. And then if you want to, if it's too small, obviously you can scale it up. Let's make this maybe 200. Now it's a bit bigger. Maybe it's still a tad too small, but you get the idea. And you can repeat this however many you want. So I'll go ahead and make one more. How about manga list? Download this. And you can actually adjust the colors however you want. Um, I take some time fiddling around with it until you can figure out what it is you like. But here's what I like. So let's scale this up again to 200. You want to try to keep things consistent because then it'll look better as a, overall. Like I don't think I'd have to say that, but just a little reminder. And then when you're done, let's say you want to make when you upload this, what's going to have to happen is that you're going to have to want people to want to click these. Here's the issue: you can only upload one URL per Imgur link or one IMGBB link. But there's another way. It's called guillotine. What you're gonna do is you're gonna click the ruler tool up here, and you're gonna drag it down so that it lines up with your thing. So like this. And then from the side. This. So now you can basically cut all these up into different images, and then what you're gonna do is do image, transform, and then guillotine. And it's going to create all these new images for you. And what this, and you're going to have to export each image individually, and then upload it as a total, and then program the BB code so that you can upload the URL for it. Um, and that would take care of it. Links. I will explain. I will give you all the BB code you will need in the description below. So don't worry too much about that. Um, that's really it, I believe. I don't believe I have much else. That's all I use to design my profile. Everything else is simply pro, everything else is BB coding and text. You can edit text however you want using the this little word tool right here. You can change colors, do whatever you want. Give it a fantastic tool, give it a shot. And if you have any more I'll, if you have any more questions, text me or message me on Mal or something or Whatever, I'll, I'll I'll get to it eventually. I'm, I'm uh, too much anime. Ugh. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope everyone has a good day. Later.